today i would like to discuss the most common complication of cataract surgery posterior capsular opacification cataract is the second most common cause of reversible blindness and pco posterior capsule opacification is the most common complication of cataract surgery it is also known as after cataract or secondary cataract now why it is formed actually lens epithelial cells from remaining anterior capsule migrate posteriorly and then proliferate there and cause secondary opacification of clear posterior capsule risk factors are young age in children pco rate is 100% in adults it is between 20 to 50% other risk factors are diabetes inflammation traumatic cataract retinitis pigmentosa if you leave lens fibers while doing cataract surgery if you don't polish posterior capsule intraocular lens design large capsule rexes all these lead to increased formation of pco pco has two types fibrous and pearly fibrous pco presents as wrinkles and folds on the posterior capsule at the site of fusion of anterior and posterior capsules histology contains fibroblasts and extracellular matrix pearl pco presents as cluster of swollen opacified and differentiated lens epithelial cells called bladder or weddell cells mostly pcos are pearly type now as pco occurs late so if the vision is decreased after few months to few years following following cataract surgery the top most differential in your mind should be pco diagnosis is with decreased vision and pco on slit lamp examination on slit lamp see elschnick pearls what are the elschnick pearls they are round and clear pearl like opacities that shine on retro illumination and some ring rings these are the rings of epithelial cells so now the question is how to treat the already formed pco and how to avoid or delay this complication for already formed pco we perform ndag laser capsulotomy sometimes the pco is too thick and for that surgical capsulotomy is required now how to decrease its incidence during pediatric cataract surgery we perform posterior capsulotomy and anterior vitrectomy to decrease its formation because its occurrence is 100% in adults during cataract surgery thorough cortical fibers clean up with irrigation aspiration cannula and manual polishing of the posterior capsule to remove all epithelial lens fibers is the best method to decrease its incidence then try to make capsule rexes slightly smaller than the intraocular lens optic and implant the iol in the bag hydrophobic material with square haptics now this creates this creates a shrink wrap effect of the anterior capsule over the iol optic thus lens epithelial cells are unable to migrate posteriorly and causing pco lots of pharmacologic preparations are also under study to stop the formation of pco one such drug is immunotoxin mdxa which has got significant lower rate of pco than others and others have got not proven effects so i hope that's enough about posterior capsular opacification which is the most common complication of cataract surgery thank you very much